just to go over these chainsaws a little bit. Um, this one is a 72cc. Um, I got the Husqvarna 24 inch bar on there. Um, I think this one's about one horsepower less than that one, the 500 i So, I mean, who knows? And this is the 500 i It's a 79 cc. Of course, it's fuel injected, so it's got more horsepower. It is a little bigger, but small too. So, but they're they're kind of a Pretty comparable saws with the 572. We'll see how good it starts and see how fast it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure the 500i might be a little faster with the starting, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Go ahead and prime it up a little bit. Slap the choke on. Oh man. Here's the 500i. Uh, both those were cold starts, so that one, the Husqvarna was a cold start. Uh, I'm it up a little bit. There's no choke on the 500i because it's a fuel injected, so see how it starts. I think the Husqvarna took three pulls, so here we go. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay So, right here is the steel MS 500i. Um, it's got more power, more CCs, more cool, and more money. It's about $400, more expensive than the Husqvarna. This is the Husqvarna 572XP. It's less horsepower, less CCs, and less money. Um, I think the 500i weighs just a little less than the 572, so I do like the 500i better for that reason. I like the 500i because it has more power. Uh, because it's fuel injected, it normally starts a little easier. Uh, the throttle response is very good. Uh, it accelerates so fast! I mean, there's nothing that I can complain about this chainsaw. It's just amazing. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, the 572 is an awesome chainsaw, too. It's just, I don't know, I'm kind of getting to where I like steel a little better than Husqvarna, but I still like Husqvarna. It's just, I don't know. Steel, you just can't beat steel. So, alrighty, um, I already warmed these saws up a little bit, cutting. A couple chunks off this with each chainsaw so we're gonna really do a, a, a speed test and cut this log real quick so y'all enjoy
Alrighty guys, so the uh, 500i was about 9 seconds faster. Um, the chains, we just sharpened the one on the 572 and so it should be cutting good. Um, yeah, I kind of expected the 500i to win anyways. Uh, me personally, I would probably get the 500i, but I mean if you're not cutting every day like how I do, I mean you really don't. You don't need a 500i if you're not cutting every day. Um, and it's just not, that would take you a long time to pay off $400 difference. I don't even know if you need the 572 really. And the 572 is a very good saw too. Um, I mean, having both saws is definitely not a bad thing either. So, um, I hope y'all got, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully it'll help you make a decision on what chainsaw you want to get. Um, yeah, I guess we'll catch you on the next one.